And now we're moving on to part four, which is Diamondism Breakable. Okay. Here is the first stand. Okay, so this is going to be Josuke's stand. This is Josuke's stand. So I'm going to, since this is like a completely new part, I'm going to say his power is similar to Star Platinum's where he punches a whole lot and he's got like the durability and like all these other things that Star Platinum had, but okay, he's got hearts. Yeah, and now we officially are in song, band, and artist territory. That's correct. I'm going to say his name is Tainted Love, and he has this power where he can heal any sort of injury, but his user has to cause an injury to the person he wants to heal. So, like, he can – he could, like, heal a bullet wound in the heart, but Josuke has to, like, break the person's finger for him to do it. You're very close on the ability. Okay. His name is Crazy Diamond. So, okay, the blue thing is that are supposed to be diamond then? No. <laughs> Apparently I'm better at naming stands than Iraqi because this uh... – <laughs> Okay, so Crazy Diamond. He, his name is Crazy Diamond. His ability is that he fixes things. He also, he, you're very close in that he does. He is like Star Platinum, but he punches things really okay. hard and very fast. He wouldn't be. His, he wouldn't be a shonen protagonist. If his he didn't. power is very similar to Star Platinum's. In in some cases, he's, he's superior to Star Platinum. In so, in some cases, considering they literally are blood related. Uh, yes, quite literally. Uh, though Josuke is is less trained than than Jotaro obviously is. Mm -hmm. Uh. His main ability is to fix things, and he can fix any wound, apart from death, and any inanimate object. Okay. Uh, if something is broken, he can fix it. If something – he can use that to, like, trail someone. Like, if someone breaks a nail mm -hmm. and, like, leaves it there, he can hit the nail, and it will go back to the user, to, the, to its owner. Okay. It's a very versatile stand. It's very powerful. The only problem is he can't fix himself. <laughs> oh. So if he gets hurt, Ironic. he's screwed. <laughs> Ironic. He could save. He could use the force to save <laughs> those he loved, but not himself. He could save others from he death, save others. but not himself. Hey. <laughs> That is one hundred percent true. That's like if you knew someone and you knew, got to know them pretty well, and then they just started talking about Mein Kampf. Okay. I, need, I, need, I need to show you uh, Mr. Plinkett's reviews one of these days. You'd love them. Uh, I will definitely look into that. All right, moving on to uh, the next stand. There's actually three on here, and they all have different names. Are they all the same stand? They're all connected to the same stand, but they all have different names. Are they all the same user? Yes. Okay, so... You showed me Dio's stand, so I'm going to, uh, like, after Jotaro, so I'm going to guess this is the main antagonist's stand. Yes, it is. So this is David Bowie's. This is David Bowie's stand. David Bowie. Okay, so this is Killer Queen. Uh, one of these is Killer Queen. I'm going to guess the one at the far left, which is, like, the most base-looking one, is going to be Killer Queen. Okay. So the one on the right will be, like, Act 2, who would be... No idea. And the one at the top's like a sarcophagus. Sarcophagus boy. So we have Killer Queen, No Idea, and Sarcophagus Boy. Yeah. What do they do? Okay, so Killer Queen has got all the powers of the world where he, he, he can punch real hard and he can do all those things. Um, remember you said that the main antagonist of part three like had an obsession with hands? So I'm going to go with he can cut off he, – like, he can make incisions, like, real swift cuts. Okay. And also stop time. Okay. And that's what I'm going with. Um, that's, that's just for Killer Queen. That's just for Killer Queen. All right. So let's move on to Sarcophagus. Sarcophagus boy. face. Sarcophagus, sarcophagus boy. Face. Sarcophagus. The I'm going to put both of them on the screen. <laughs> the skull, um, as he's known skull. by his friends. Um, <laughs> he can – Reverse time. He does all oh, the things. Time. Killer Queen, but instead of topping, he reverses time. And number two, or the one on the left, right there, who I just so I don't know, who I just realized is coming out of someone's face. He is coming out of someone's face. He can take over people and use their stands. Okay. okay. Um. You are right about one of these things. <laughs> all uh, right. That is Killer Queen that on is, the far left. 
<laughs> that, that is, is Killer Queen. That's the only thing I got right. He's his ability is to make bombs. Okay. He touches something and it becomes a bomb. I kind of like how you said that it's similar to the world and that he can punch things really hard because he can't. Uh, he actually okay. sucks at punching things. He's he, look he's, at the size of his biceps though. I know he had he has why two punch out scenes with Star Platinum and Crazy Diamond, and he loses both of them very badly. Why are all JoJo characters like built like tanks? Because Araki not... liked liked the look. He doesn't anymore. Fair he enough. likes the more thin look. Uh, the guy on the top there, he said his sarcophagus face. Yeah. He's my boy Sheer Heart Attack. Oh, uh, okay. Sheer Heart Attack is actually a substand. This is the, the first substand we're going to come across. Uh-huh. And there's only like one or two others. Okay. So there's no, no, don't worry about substands. I just realized skeleton face is on uh, Killer Queen's belt. Uh, actually, that's not where he is. He's actually on his right hand. That's where he comes out of. Okay. I know. I, I first thought it was going to be the belt, too, but it's actually it's actually his right hand. All right. Uh, and it is a remote bomb that sort of wanders about and kills Okay, I see there's a button on his head now. I can see that. Yeah. He just explodes over and over and over again until everything around it is dead. He's also indestructible. Okay. He can survive the own, his own explosions? Yeah, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, not even Star Platinum could break it. <laughs> okay. And Star Platinum Diamond broke a lot of things. Unbreakable. Star Platinum breaks the world, and he can't <laughs> break Sheer Heart Attack. It's kind of amazing. Uh, and the guy on the 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 bottom right there, that is Killer Queen bites the dust. Okay. So bites the dust is the final form of Killer Queen, and it's the ultimate bomb. And it's funny that you mentioned. Reversing time for sheer heart attack, because bites of dust kind of does that. Uh, okay. So later on in part four, uh, David Bowie gets a an identity change, mm-hmm. and the face that you're seeing there that is his son. Oh. That he he gets that son because he sort of changed his he life. changes his face and like he steals the life of another guy. Okay. This kid finds out who he is, mm-hmm. so he plants a bomb inside of him. That's cruel. That bites the dust. Okay. To explode whenever someone, whenever he reveals to someone who his dad is, David Bowie is. Okay. And that will blow them up, and then it reverses time, and continuously makes them explode for no reason. That's cruel. Yeah, it's unbelievably powerful. Well, all right then. It is an insane ability. <laughs> and I'm, like, not even scratch. I'm, like, summarizing how it works. It's okay. way more complicated than that. Well, can't wait to see that on screen. I fucking love Killer Queen. All right, then. I think, I think, I think it's safe to say that right now, in terms of just people, just people who watch the anime, mm-hmm. Killer Queen is still probably the most popular stand. Really? Amongst people who only watch the anime. Okay, fair enough. Because it's awesome. Killer Queen is freaking awesome. Seems OP, but I mean that kind oh, of. Yeah. That, but oh as, yeah. But as an antagonist, that honestly kind of works. Like it's like a Frieza kind of thing. Yeah, you so want to be strong. You want to be strong and like be creative, so you can. That's actually pretty clever. All right. Yeah. That's why the the second half of Part Four is definitely my favorite in terms of JoJo's because it's just, it's so back and forth and it's insane. All right, next up. All right. This big boy. It's got money signs. I'm going to tell you right off the bat. This is one of the most powerful stands. Okay, so ever. cash money, cash money, little uh, like uh, fifty cent uh, over 50 here. Fifty cent. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm just trying to. I, I'm pretty sure cash money isn't actually something. So I'm gonna call him fifty cent. Fifty cent. Fifty cent, and his ultra superpower is when compared to the Killer Queen. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's kind of difficult when you're comparing it to the last guy, but yeah. Dude can. I mean, dude's probably the one who gave David Bowie the second life. Dude can change who you are. No. Okay. That is actually a completely different stand. That is the Cinderella. The, that, the, yeah. the stand that you're talking about is uh, called Cinderella. Okay. Okay. That actually makes more sense. Yeah. This stand, its name is The Hand. Okay. And its power is it uses that big glowing hand right there mm-hmm. 
to swipe away space. So it just causes black holes? No, it just deletes space. Who's the user? Uh, the user is our boy Okuyasu Nijimura. Since you said he's our boy, I take it he's an ally? Yes, he is. He, he is Josuke's best friend. Okay, and well, at least that partner stand, in crime. <laughs> at least that stand isn't being used for evil. Honestly, I right? and, I, and they admit this as such in the, the manga, and I believe in the anime, uh, all the main characters say that the hand is definitely the most powerful <laughs> of all of theirs, if only Okiyasu wasn't such an idiot. You know what? <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate having like pure raw power, but having a like an Achilles heel in that you literally don't know how to use it. Yeah. He could have killed every single enemy they encountered, and he does not use his stand like that very often. I mean, I'm going to be real with you. It, it's seeming more and more like every JoJo's best friend is just a moron who doesn't know what he's doing. That is 100% correct. Other than Caesar. Other than Caesar. No, no, no. no. Kakyoin is a strategic genius. Okay. And he almost, he comes so close to beating Dio, but he just doesn't know what its ability is. Okay. The world! Kakyoin! Yeah, well, that's fair enough, but. If he, if, if. A Dio's good ability wasn't chunk of JoJo's best friends are, like, useful only when they're antagonists, and then. Or intimidating only when they're antagonists, and then that's what you're... Like, Speedwagon, yeah. that hat thing was awesome, and he never uses it again. Never. And that makes me upset. You can do it in the video games. He died. Okay, well, he still dies before he uses it again. <laughs> it's true. All right, so this next one, there's also going to be three on, on, on okay. the board. They all have the same name. All right. They have different powers, though. Okay, let's go. Kind of. Yeah. Okay, so their names are Imperfect Cell, Semi-Perfect Cell, and Perfect Cell, <laughs> clearly. That, that is what they're a reference to. <laughs> oh, a reference. That's what we're calling these now. Yeah, by reference. Okay, the one on the left is just Cell's tail and his face. Yep. <laughs> Except he's got, like, training wheels or something. He does have training. I don't know what the wheels are the for. The one at the bottom is just Cell if he was a Gundam. <laughs> and the one on the side looks like Frieza and Cell put together. <laughs> like, if Cell just had a bit more Frieza in him. <laughs> Way to go. Good job, Rocky. <laughs> I mean, hey, uh, that just means that, like, I know the sort of date where part four came out. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boo hadn't come out yet, but Dragon Ball was still, Z was still going strong. Okay, so. I'm crying. Okay. So funny. They all have different names, you say? I'm not. No, they all have the same name. They all have the same name, different powers. Uh, Slightly different powers. Slightly different powers, okay. I, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to. I I'm not even going to hedge a guess at what their names are. I'm going to go with. It's just in perfect cells. Per, uh, semi perfect cell. Perfect. Yeah, it's just cell. <laughs> And uh, their powers are um, basic uh, melee and absor energy absorption. Uh, no. <laughs> That's not what they do. Why even make the <laughs> homage if you're not going to use the powers? <laughs> it's literally not even close. Uh, so their name is Echoes. Echoes, okay. Uh, so we have Echoes Act 1. Act 2, and Act 3. Okay. Uh, that's technically Act 0, but that's an egg. <laughs> okay. Uh, act 1, it's that little boy up there. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he makes sound by writing sound effects. Writing? Yes. With, like, his tail? Yeah. Okay. He just sort of spits out a sound effect on the floor, and you hear it. All right. Act 2 uh, does basically the same thing, but you can feel it. So, like, for example, he'll write sizzle on something, and, and then you touch it, and it'll be hot. Okay. Act three, um... Blows up the earth. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Act three, he's got a suicide bomb inside him, and Goku's got to instant uh, transport him away. You're very close. No, you're not even close. Uh, no, act three, its main ability, besides talking... Okay, master. 
Let's kill the whole beach. Uh, is it's three freeze where it punches something very rapidly and then makes it very heavy. Okay, I understood where Act Two was coming from after Act One. I have no idea how Act Three gets there. Trust me, no fucking clue. <clears throat> I am not a big fan of Echoes. He's a very, it's a very contested stand, whether you like him or not. Mm. I like the stand user. I don't like the stand that much. Is he an ally? He is. Okay. He is, he is a very important ally. Well, hey, let's... Uh, He's the on, he is the only main cast member of Part 4 that, that came from Part 4 that gets to return in any later part. No, that's cool, actually. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, hey, let's. Uh, if anyone, if anyone dares to do a JoJo's abridged one day, try and get Takahata to play this thing. Uh, Antfish did a JoJo's abridged. Oh, uh, why well, he actually could then, honestly. No, he stopped doing it very a very long time ago. No, no. He was doing it when part one was first syndicating. All right. Well, if someone ever like the, I know the Schmuck Squad, squad shout out to them. Uh, <laughs> they've been like conglomerating more and more series. If they ever do it, maybe they could do him. Uh, I'd love, I would love for that to happen. That'd be very yeah. funny. Uh, how about uh, this guy? The real question. Is, I feel uncomfortable now. Yeah. Yeah. The, <laughs> he's got an erection. <laughs> he's also got Cell's mouth. Um, yeah, the the beak thing was kind of popular at the time, and that's not just Araki. Yeah, the ripping beak. off a, a whatever the fuck. Frieza. It is. Akira no. Toriyama. Yeah. Uh, that, there was other people that were doing that sort of beak design for a bit. Yeah, beaks, what we're going to call it, the pelvis beak. Um, oh, that's not what I was talking about, <laughs> but okay. Yeah, I, kn I know it wasn't, but still. It's a penis. That... <sighs> so what, what, what is, what's his, his name? His name is Gold Standard, <laughs> and his ability is uncomfortable hip thrusting. <laughs> That works. I love it. That works similarly to Star Platinum's punches, because what is he even thinking? I know Japan's like thrust, more. Thrust, 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 I, thrust, yeah, thrust, it's thrust. like that thing. There's that like one anime clip of this guy who like starts just hip thrusting towards these people in an alleyway. Oh, I actually I actually watched that show. Yeah, it's, it's that. It's, it's that. I know what you're talking about. I know Japan's more open with like their <laughs> sexual stuff or whatever. They've got like a fair. So, you're probably gonna hate me for this one. Its name is Red Hot Chili Pepper. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> no, it's not. Its name is Red Hot Chili Pepper. Okay. What, or, uh, what happened to the color scheme giving it away slightly? <laughs> Where, how, how have we gone from a Silver Chariot to this? <laughs> you were able to guess Silver Chariot so easily. No. And now we're on Red Hot Chili Pepper, now we're on who is yellow. Who is yellow and, okay, what's his ability? His power is that it controls... And can transmute itself through electricity. I mean, I guess with the yellow, like, so does that mean like his tail and his pelvis work as like <laughs> lightning rods? No, <laughs> that's just his design. Okay, can we please move on before I become even more uncomfortable? I feel like the thing's coming closer, certainly, and it's making me sad. Certainly, certainly. Okay, this looks more like red hot <laughs> chili peppers. <laughs> This look like actual chili peppers. I actually have always said that I think these two stand names should have should have been switched. Uh, okay, so it th wait this and with the actual red hot chili yeah. peppers. Okay, um, I always say I always say that they should have been switched. So it is made this more gold sense. standard? Is this like this gold? is not gold standard? No, gold dust. No, um, give give a real guess because I because I threw you off with that one. Okay. Um, Sex in the City. I'm going to... Sex in the City. Yeah. Yes, his name is Sex in the City. I mean, Good those, job, John. Those things on their head, they look like dildos. Um, yeah. And... From a certain point of view. Power is... It's able to, like... Um, I mean, there's so many of them. So, like, if you... Yeah, there are a lot of them. If you, like, ground them up and use them into food, it makes the food just... Mamma mia. What, how delicious. You are so fucking close. You're like right there. Are you serious? So it's, okay, its name is Pearl Jam. And its okay. power is, it helps its 
it, it, it does get just stuck into food, and it makes the food delicious. It looks like a parasite, though. But, okay, but. it goes further than that. It also cures any ailments that you have. Then why does it look terrifying? I don't know. Actually, no, I do know. It's to throw off the, the viewer. Because the, this, the, the, the chapters and the episode that revolve around Pearl Jam are set up more like a mystery than an actual fight. Oh, uh, okay. Where, like, they're trying to figure out, like, what the hell's going on, and you see this little, like, eh thing. So they're really out. nice boys. No, they're really nice boys, and its user is just a lovely man. Okay. Uh, he's a chef who's just trying to make the world nicer. All right. And his brother is a gangster in, in Italy. Uh, of course he is. He doesn't show up until one of the books, one of the light novels that come after. <laughs> All right. He's a, it's a very interesting thing. Purple Haze Feedback is a very fascinating <laughs> book. Every newsstand is named after a Jimi Hendrix song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How, uh, about, uh, how about this boy? This is actually quite possibly my favorite stand. Okay, is it flying or is it, like, huge? No, he's just jumping. Uh, he's got the beak still, still going. Um, yeah, the beaks are still a thing. And the, the um, sort of slitted eyes kind of like. Yeah, like the bar, like, he, he just kind of looks like a bug. But I'm Honestly, the slitted eyes, that's actually an Iraqi thing. He does that a lot. Okay, um, I'm, 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 um. He does look like a bug. He's got six legs. Is he just a bomb? Is, is he, okay. Is his, he a bomb? His, I mean, look, like, the main antagonist is, is, like, an explosion master, so I'm just gonna go with that. And his name is... Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, maybe this will help you. Yeah, no, he's just a bomb, and he makes littler bombs. Um, and his name is... Um, Fight the Machine. Fight the Machine. That would be an awesome name for a stand. So it's not his name? No, it's not. All his right. name is Harvest. Harvest? Okay. Harvest! Okay. Uh, I love Harvest. Harvest's ability is, first off, there's literally hundreds of it. Okay. Uh, Okay. And it goes around and it picks things up. Okay, that's not... So its user normally uses it to collect dropped change. He's a hoarder? Oh. And he a makes a bank. I mean... He, he, like, he like just sits in a park, sends out all his harvests around the city to pick up loose change or spare change or stuff that was dropped under vending machines. And he collects something like 3,000 yen in one day. I mean, yeah, that's actually kind of clever. That's actually good for him. It's awesome. Harvest is really cool. All right. I love Harvest. Okay. That's, that's not too bad. All right. Uh, here we have another one of my favorite stands. Boom. There he is. Looks like a turret from Portal. Yeah. Um, but he's got teeth. He does have teeth. So he, he almost looks like a dog. So I'm going to say like his power is he's basically just someone's dog. <laughs> he's a dog he's, stand. Yeah, like he's a dog. And he, he almost looks like a knight's helmet at the bottom there too. So. Huh. He, I think, like, he consumes either his user or someone else and, like, defends them in, like, some unbreakable shield. Okay, what's his name? And his name is Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. There no. hasn't been a stand named Iron Maiden yet. Wow. No, it's it's not. It. I actually really, I was just thinking about that I, that uh, idea. I really like that ability. Really? It's not, it's not its ability. It's not his ability. Okay. I'm surprised there hasn't been a stand that's just like a pet. <laughs> no, actually, no. There kind of is. There kind of is, but I, not really. Wait. Are stands just not like pets? Like, okay. Here's no, no one treats here, a stand like a pet. Here's a better question. Are, are stands sentient at all? Like Some of them are. Okay. Not All right. Everyone. So who is this? What's he do? Uh, His name is Rat. Okay. R-A-T-T. Named after the uh, the hair metal band from the, the, from the 90s. Mm-hmm. Uh... Its ability is that it's a cannon. Okay. And it shoots you with a little flesh dart. And it turns your flesh into goo. Ah. It jellifies your body. Oh, that makes you uncomfortable. Which oh, works bad. very well for its user, because its user is a rat. Mm. And it uses its stand to hunt and feed. Oh, fantastic. Actually, rat is controlled by two different rats. At the same time. Is that how they beat it? They just make the rats want different things at different times? No, they or? just kill both of them. I'm okay. <laughs> they kill one of them at the beginning of the hunt, and then it reveal, it's revealed that there's a second rat that also has rat. I pity any JoJo fans who live in New York. That must be their nightmare. 
Honestly, not gonna lie, yeah. I'm I'm always afraid that a rat is just gonna shoot me. Have you <laughs> seen the size of the rats of New York? Yes, I've seen the size of the rats of New York. Alright. Uh next up. Uh another one of my absolute favorite stands. Alright. Flowey from Undertale. Got it in one. Um <laughs> <laughs> You've been looking over my screen. You were waiting for that joke. Look, you went to go get me new batteries. So fair I, enough. Fair enough. I only saw this one anyways. Okay, um, what's its actual name? Its actual name. It looks like Coral. Like, it looks like Coral from, like, the Little Mermaid. So I'm going to say his name is Under the Sea. Um, okay. And his power is it can control any kind of plant across the world. No. Uh, okay. You're pretty far off. How far off? So, Am I, John. Where do I start with this guy? <laughs> First off, his name is Stray Cat. I mean, second of all, it's its own stand. Wait, so it's not like it's a stand and it's also the user? Yes. How does where wh- what came first, the user of the stand? What the user? The user died. And the stand was born. So the stand, okay, so, okay, so he's a stand, so he is the plant, too? Yeah. So he had a user, the user died, and he just, like, symbiosis to a plant? No. So the the user was a cat. Okay. The cat was struck by the stand arrow, which is the plot MacGuffin that, you know, creates stands. Okay. The cat just sort of wandered around and died of its wounds, mm-hmm. even though it has a stand, which is very strange. Okay. It died, and when it was buried, this plant grew up, and the cat's conscious became the plant, and the plant became a stand. Okay. So now the cat is the stand. Its ability, on the other hand... <laughs> okay, I its love Its ability, on the other hand, is to create air bubbles. Like, just bubbles? Just Air bubbles. Okay. Do uh, they hurt you when you, they pop? No, but they can still kill you. Do they like suffocate you if they go around your head? Or they can. Okay. It can also create a vacuum. Okay. It can also send an air bubble, and this is a great scene. Oh, oh, up no. Your, no. Your vein, no. Stopping the flow oh, of blood and stop. killing you. Stop. <laughs> Just no. That's literally what happens no. in a scene. <laughs> I'm going to be looking away during that. Just go. Just <laughs> Let's stop talking about this. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. All right. We're done with part four.